just want to demonstrate something, and it's not this corny card I got for Mr. Kelly Stamps on Amazon. I want to show you the grip of a provider. I'm back and it's time to cook dinner for us. It's the least I could do for my love. These are the ingredients. You can use spicy or mild. I'm using spicy Italian chicken sausage. And here's what we do. Here's Hadassah. Hello, beautiful people. She just had a birthday. Feels like I'm walking on a cloud. I get it now, I get it. I get the hype. Daisy Keach ab workout. I like this ab workout because it's moderately challenging, it's not too long, and I'm going back to it like every few days. She uploaded this a year ago, there's almost 10 million views. Last time I saw this, it had 6 million. It's genius. Like, fitness influencers, if you do your cards right, you can seriously make money than more than like everybody else on YouTube. Stay healthy, wealthy, and stealthy. Behold, at home Chipotle. It tastes better, believe it or not. And it's cheaper. And I got to add as much guac as I wanted. Some fresh chicken breast. They use chicken thighs, but I prefer chicken breast. This is how I stay healthy and wealthy. That was quite the storm. That really was. You know, it, it was 
worse than I expected, to be honest. And if your car is in South Florida or you live here, I'm so sorry for you. Yeah, uh, mine didn't get damaged. My clown car, Mini Cooper, did not sustain a lot of injury. So thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yeah, I love saying Jesus' name. I do. Because every time I say it, people get offended and they get all angry. Like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, well, you guys are so mad. You guys are so worked up and angry over a man you claim doesn't exist. Anywho, let's get into that. Because I haven't done any like little preaching in a while. By the way, two things I want to say. One, I haven't done it in a minute just because I wanted to mix it up and give vlogs and give a different type of content. But I'm ready to get back into it. I want to mix it up. I'm looking, by the way, I'm looking at my video right now. I have several videos lined up. One of them is titled like, you know, my opinions on being a judgmental Christian, stuff like that. I just don't want to be labeled as like a Christian YouTuber because obviously I am, but it's more like, I have a relationship, a genuine relationship, I think, with Christ. So like, I just don't want that label of like, Christian YouTuber, because guess what? I cuss a little, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm trying. And for some reason, when you're like labeled as a vegan YouTuber or a sustainability YouTuber, whatever it is, people expect you to like never mess up. So that's just me, I'm being honest, I'm saying, look, I'm an influencer YouTuber who happens to be Christian. I have truly influenced you all to do better things with your lives. That doesn't mean that I'm perfect at all. I just have perfect hair. That's it. Um, so yeah, number two, I love gender roles, Jesus, fluffy hair, and Florida air. We'll get into that. But the second thing I was going to say is I said something people were really confused by it in a video, like maybe six videos back. That's because I made a verbal error. I, I said something like, oh, I can go all day long about this topic, but ladies don't preach. I meant to say, it's not my role personally to be an ordained pastor. I have no desire to formally take this to the next level or sell courses or travel around. And I'm just gonna say, I'm not gonna, should I say it? No, I'm not gonna be messy, but there's, I'm not gonna say it, I'm right. No, I will, I have to now. I already said it, I have to say it now. When I was in, I oh, won't even say the city, it's gonna make it too obvious who it is. But basically there's, there's a few prominent Christian influencers and I overheard one of them talking about how to make money off their followers using Jesus and Christianity and all that. And I was just like, I knew you were no good. I knew it. You lit liquor. To me, it's just awkward. Like discussing money and Christianity. And like, I don't know, it's just weird. Trying to make money off of Christianity. But it's like, if it's who you are, then it's not a big deal, naturally. But I feel like those who are like, actually like, I don't know. It's just weird. Christian influencers, YouTubers, we all know there's a weird, awkward thing about it where you want to do it the right way and there's no right way to do it because this is all new to us so like i don't want to say the wrong things what i'm saying i don't want to be a spokesperson refer to me as you know friendly neighborhood meme you know i'm just a relatable yet i guess non-relatable person i'm relatable because i am suffering like the rest of you in the sense of spiritual warfare and even though i don't talk about it all the time I feel everything that you all are probably feeling, but I do talk about it. I had a whole video. I have like five videos about this, but basically I'm just looking at my title here. I said, I love gender roles, Jesus, fluffy hair, Florida air. Let's get into that. Okay. Jesus. Um, when you genuinely love Jesus, when you love God and you are in, you're like, oh, yes, you fall in love. You have your aha moment. You wake up. I think, like I said, you naturally just hate your sins more, but bigger than that, you become very unrelatable to your friends, to your peers, your family. And I think that's the hardest part is when you're just kind of like at the old you. I'm not mortified at all by my past, by the way. I've done a lot of messy things. <laughs> messy. You know, I've been messy. I just look back like I'm so proud that now I've been given a new identity, literally. You know, like the story in the Bible. I've been given a new name. You were once Kelly and now you're the Kelly Stamps. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's, it's funny. So I just wanted to say, if any of you are going through that, no matter what age you are, it's okay. That means you're doing the right thing. For example, like, because yeah, my business is still afloat and everything, but I have two channels now and I'm on TikTok. So I make a little bit of money there, but it's not really like for money. It's just for funsies and to get recipes on. I expected this, but I knew. I had to. I can't explain to you further than just God told me to, and it was just time. But I literally started preaching the word Jesus on YouTube. 
and then pff, people left. And I will not say the word I lost subscribers and I started, you know, preaching Jesus. I don't like the word lost. Lost implies I've lost something that I needed. I lost something that I want back. In fact, I told people, if you hate me because you ain't me, leave. Like, no offense, I don't need you. Like, there's this weird thing, sidebar, where people think, oh, you're a content creator, like, we made you famous, you need us. I'm like, no, respectfully, not in a bragging way, but just being very straightforward, we get paid a lot more than some of you think we do. Even on my worst months or days, I'm still blessed. So keep that through your head. I will never, ever, ever feel like I have to hide my faith, even though I did get shadow banned very obviously on the other channel. Guess what? I'm still here. Made a new one. And it's really hard to get rid of me now that it's so established and so obvious. So let's see what happens now. But basically what I'm saying is I'm not ashamed for proclaiming my faith and you shouldn't be either. I know it's really hard, especially if you're young and you're out of college and your friends are like, but you were so much more fun years ago when you were, ah, when I did what? Well, oh, ah, you're like, ew, I don't know. People have tried that with me too. Like you were so much more fun when, or like someone like took the time to email me like three hours out of the day, like a three hour long email. I mean, like seven in the morning. I'm like, you wake up thinking about me. You're obsessed. They're like, I just want to say, I used to love your content, but now I can't watch it because all you do is talk about Jesus and God and how you're so happy that you don't hate men and I can't relate because I still hate men. I'm like, you don't have to announce your departure like Southwest Airlines. Just go, you know, but they won't because they know what I'm saying is true. Everybody is so worked up and angry over a man they claim doesn't exist. All right, the second thing I mentioned in this title, I said, I love gender roles. I do. There's not much else to say. Again, I'm not married, so I'm not going into this advice because I don't think you should listen to anybody unless they're married for a long time successfully. So that's my take. People have been asking me a lot of questions like, how do you meet him? Any tips for us? I have no tips. I'm sorry. Again, when that's there, then I'll maybe be like, okay, I've already explained. Again, it's, it's very simple. If you just love your gender roles, if you love Jesus, fluffy hair, Florida air, you'll be happy. I really think that's it. I think that's the secret to life. But maybe don't come to Florida, actually. Maybe don't, because you saw the storm. Maybe don't. The homeowner's insurance is crazy. I don't own here. Uh, Mr. Kelly Stamps does. His parents do. Whew, it's expensive. You know, it's kind of like, again, when I learned of Texas, these places are cheaper, but they make up for the cost in other ways. Um, many people had to spend like $2,000 getting their cars towed this week and stuff. And some people lost their cars entirely. And yeah, maybe don't come to Florida, but I still love the Florida air. I do. But yeah, so I covered, I love Jesus, Florida air, gender roles. Yeah, not much to say. Um, I'm just so glad that I never ever fell for the trap, the trap again, not feminism. Feminism is the reason why I can set up my tripod right now and make a living. And you know, have my little checking account and vote and do all these other basic things. But a lot of us, we didn't ask to be born in this certain time frame. I mean, I'm black, so that would have been bad if I was born any earlier. So let's keep that there. I'm just saying, I love the fact that I truly support any woman's choice to choose how they want to live. And my last thing I love, fluffy hair. I do. I had to get into the kinky straight type of texture. I knew it was time. I love this type of hair texture, the not perfectly pin straight hair. Um, but I also have to love it because I'm in the Florida air, like the title says, Florida air. Um, it is so humid here. It's more humid than normal. I'm not gonna get my tinfoil hat on though, because I have to go. I have to go, I'm actually running late now. I have to go. Traffic's gonna get bad. Tinfoil hat though, on the podcast, not on YouTube. I have theories as to what's going on. It is just so hot. Obviously, you know, I don't know, climate change. I do believe in climate change. Um, I'm not a denier of that. It's very obvious, but ah, I'm gonna save it. I was gonna say something, I'm gonna save it. Tinfoil hat, another time. It's abnormally humid. It's giving, like Sims weather, like it's just, it's being altered. We know, oh, I'm getting into it. I'm not gonna get into it, I'm not gonna, ah, ah. I'm not, I can't, I have to keep forgetting. I have to like, 
be brand friendly and stuff. I don't want to be brand friendly. I don't want to be friendly. Like, friendly is overrated. Be brand unfriendly. You know what? Bleep! I'm just kidding. All right, I have to go. Goodbye. Those are my hot takes for the day. Goodbye. I have to go. I have to go. I need to go drive before it starts flooding again. <laughs>